Hey everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for the Game Boy Advance, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So let us go into Giza Plains and get on with the White Flower mission. Ant lions! Ant lions everywhere! Alright, let's check and see what we can do. We can't fight! Amazing! This is what I was talking about last battle. So make sure you can bring in people that can actually do some damage! Because otherwise you're going to have a hard, 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 horribly hard time. And I forget what you're learning right now. What what monsters? Lamia and Flan. Oh, well, you're not going to be very useful then. Who else? Um, we can cause some status ailments with you, but let's see. Have you learned your skill yet? Yes, you have. So I can actually give you another bow. What does this one do? Aim legs, burial. Let's just do... Aiming for the legs. We can do some status ailments, I guess. Um, let's send you out. This is going to be a long fight. And you, I suppose. And where's my white mage? Just because you'll be useful this fight. I wonder where Telma planted those flowers. Telmil, whatever. Be ready. Crack the knuckles, crack the neck. Because we're in for a long ride. Alright, let's get this started. With... Aim the legs. Just so he can't move. Immobilize. He can just still do actions, but he just can't go anywhere. Awesome, and it worked. Yes, if you so much do any fight action, you will get arrested, of course. Well, not arrested, but we will get a law card, and we don't want that. I'm trying to prevent that as much as I possibly can. This is the point in the game where things can get hard, especially, like I said, at the beginning when you barely know anything. Mont Blanc is definitely going to be the star of the show, for sure. And actually, what a good thing to do is if you have Berserk, you can Berserk the enemies into fighting, and they'll get Glaw cards instead, so there's another kind of way to go around it. And our good friend Mon Blanc and our white mage here are going to get lots of judge points, since color magic is recommended. We will get extra bonus judge points just for doing things like that. If you're probably wondering why I sent Marsh into the battle, but at least he can do a combo with um with the monk now, because he's now learning a combo attack with the last thing he just had. So I can actually show that off here too. C -c -c combo Bereka. He'll be joining in. Let's do it. He's coming in to chip in. Bam pow, and you're gone. And I'll be taking that extra judge point so I can do it all over again. And that's why he's going to be very useful in this fight. As for you, you're going to just do random breaks, such as power break, speed break, and random first aid. Which I will do right now. Yay, recovery. Unfortunately, not everybody has learned combos, so... It's just going to be basically the White Monk, Marsh, and Mont Blanc that are going to be doing anything at all. And by the looks of things, these guys can't really do much either, so, which is nice. Other than the goblins, one we've already taken care of anyways. Pew! Judge point, thank you. This battle's going to get much easier later on in the game if you have fight as the uh, law of the battle. Much easier because you're going to learn much more abilities that are going to be useful to you. What status ailment shall we cause you? How about blackout? I like causing blackouts. If we could have used control, that would be much better, but unfortunately our friend does not know how to control it, so... We are basically stuck with just these generic skills for now. 
And I'll have Marsh do the exact same thing and use a combo, get another judge point, and yes, you can bring it in this way. As long as Marsh and the Monks both stay together, they can both add in combos. So those two are going to be pretty much paired up this whole fight. Magic Hammer? Magic Hammer! MP damage, ouch, that's a lot of MP damage. Dunk. Yes, I've lost 42 MP. But I will gain some a little bit each turn, so... Let me just use... How about protect? No, not an item, protect. On him. Sure, why not? There we go. Another judge point. Unfortunately, I can't use them. Because he does not know his combo yet, but that's okay. Do I have enough magic points to do anything? No, I might as well just wait. Alright, Prol. So there's really not much you can do, I don't think. Shall we try another c, -c, -c combo I think we should! And these combos will get cooler too as our team members start learning more combos. 42? Oh, that's enough for a judge point. I'll take it. Gimme. It's enough for me to do another combo. Alright, you can do... How about speed break? I don't think I've shown off any of these break skills yet. So this will basically just lower speed. And as for power break, well, it lowers attack rate, so... I only ever really use those for this kind of a battle if I absolutely need to. I really don't find much of a use for it. But, oh, that's a soldier skill. We can actually change some jobs around, too, right now. But I like to have certain team members learn as much as they can before I switch around. Wait! No, 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 There'll be no doing that here. Absolutely not! Might as well blind him too. Everybody will be blinded. Ha ha. Alright, and as per usual, we'll use some whirlwind with you. Weaken you up. He's already weakened. Mont Blanc can probably kill him in the next turn. I assume anyways. And unfortunately, we can't get two judge points for killing him and using color magic. That's a little bit cheap, but... Alright, I assume he's a bug, so he's going to be weak against fire. It's enough to kill him, so I'll take it. And he's down. And I only get one judge point for that, unfortunately. There's only one class in the game that can get an extra judge point. Actually, it's an extra nine judge points. But that I will be explaining much later. Alright, what shall we do here? Since everybody's in this perfect little square... Protect! There we go! Why is we getting experience? And hey, what the hell, another judge point, even though he's probably maxed out with judge points. Yes, he is, too. Alright, what's he gonna do? You gonna do something? No, of course not. Unfortunately, our good friend can't reach anybody, so he is going to just have to wait. As for you, though, you can definitely reach somebody. Let's lower your speed some more, so you can't move until much later. And that way, our members with uh, actual attack power are actually can do something, can go. And as per usual, it's black. Oh, you? You've actually got a lot of HP, don't you, buddy? Well, nothing that a combo can't take care of, I guess. And let us move over here. Take care of one with Whirlwind, of course. And, oh, I was just going to say, is Marsh going to come over? But I guess not. 
like a little party over here. It's a little mini mini party going on. Everyone's invited to the little circle party. It's now actually a T-shaped, but that's okay. Hurry up and do something. Thank you. Oh, might as well. Let's just protect Marsh, just because we can. We could have also used to protect on Nansen, but uh, whatever. I'm basically protecting for the sake of doing so. For the sake of experience, basically. Even though he already has a lot of it. Um, well, I might as well move back so I can at least strike one of you with... Oh, why not? Fire is good. Unfortunately, I couldn't get both of them because it either hits Nansen or the White Monk. I suppose it could have healed them after, but eh, I don't really like hurting my teammates for no reason. As for you, what can we do with you? wonder if we can combo. Yes, we can! Oh, how I love spamming these. It just looks so cool, too. And of course, each character will have their own little action as well, too, that it'll do. <gasps> that didn't kill him? For shame, Marsh! For shame! How dare you not kill him like I wanted you to. It's probably because he doesn't have as much judge points as before. I'm not really sure how that works, to be 100% honest. Alright, Mr. Buggy. Let us not have you moving. Why? Because why not? I actually kind of like this little animation that it shows with her aiming. Action? Actually, no, wait. I'm going to move in front if I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Well, I'm going to go over here then. Get you out of the way for the next magic attack. Where are you going to go? Oh, well, that's a stupid place to move. Such a silly, silly place to move. You can still be hit with magic. And hey, he got lucky there. I don't like that, and since he can't do crap all, he still has lots of MP left, though. But getting it with 10%, that, that is really lucky, I have to admit. Well, since those three are over there, why the hell not? Even though they don't do crap all. They are now safe. And I get a judge point, even though it's useless to me. These judge points are going to be useful much later in the game, and they're going to help us break the game more than anything you've ever seen. Uh, let's switch it up and hit this guy with a speed break, shall we? That's all you've done this whole battle is speed break, speed break, speed break some more! I like to break some speed. Alright, you can go down here. If you... Oh, uh, what the hell. There's no sense in moving you. They're both blind anyways. Cast some Blizzard. Hopefully that will kill both of them and finish off this fight. Well, I'll take one at least. One is better than none, I suppose. That stupid red guy is outliving himself, though. I'm going to have to take care of him post-haste. And you don't have any judge points left. That makes me sad. Actually, no. We're not, we're not gonna move you there. Because our friend, the white monk, can have access to him. Let's steal money. I need all the money I can get at this point. Gimme! Thank you! Alright, well, we might as well make him immobile as well. Why the hell not? Since boost isn't going to help us with anything in this battle, might as well just cause status ailments. Aim for the legs, or for the ass. Whatever works. Alright. And... Whirlwind. 
He is surrounded. I'm gonna have to get Nassen out of there if I want to hit him with Mont Blanc. Hopefully he goes before Mont Blanc does. Good, you're moving a dead body. Good for you. Why are you even here? Get out of the way. Or come closer, whatever. I'm just gonna wait. I just want this battle done with. Get him out of the way, and since you're about to level up... Why not? Should have done that with Galahad too, but... Like I said, I just want this battle done and over with. Good job. And... Hopefully the finishing blow... Burn away! Oh, not the finishing blow? Why won't you just die already? You are outliving yourself. I should have done a combo with the white monk, but oh well. I'll be stealing more of your gill, please and thank you. Monsters never have any equipment on, except for maybe they have access to items, but that doesn't really make a difference. Um... I've got nothing to do with you, so you can just wait. And hey, why not show off his combo? Just because Marsh is right there. Let's see what animation he does. Nice. I probably should have done that a lot sooner, but oh well. Doesn't matter. Here they are. Let's get these back home. And the mission is cleared. Alright, White Flowers is cleared, so we get the Burglar Sword, and we mastered the combo, and a Suna, and of course a clan level up. Skill level up. And do we get a new team member? Aw, oh, I like getting new team members, it's fun! And actually I haven't showed this off. If somebody's on a mission, it'll say a little mission display thing here. I don't know if we can change equipment, but just to let you know, we can't kick them out of the party or anything. And yes, we can kick people out, so we can just press leave clan and they are gone. Of course, the only two that can't are Mont Blanc and Marsh, naturally, because they're the main characters, right? They can't leave. They can't just walk off. Alright, time to switch up. And it's about time we learned Air Render, which is the skill we've been seeing repeatedly over and over and over again. So we'll equip that, and we'll also put on the Judge Daff for Shell. There we go. And I think I'm going to end this part off here, so I'll catch you guys on the next one.